On Tuesday the 11th of December, private security thugs in the service of KBC Bank and led by former UDR man and British soldier Ian Gordon dragged and evicted Anthony McGann and his family from their home just before Christmas. What was Leo Varadkar's response? He said, well, people have to pay their debts. But it seems that working class people and small farmers have to pay their debts back. Well, people like Dennis O'Brien can get 300 million written off. And what about the 64 billion we gave to the banks when they gambled and lost? Since the eviction of the McGann family, there's been loads of discussions in the newspapers about violence. But the ruling class of some neck talking about violence. I mean, Leo says he doesn't like scary men in balaclavas. He was willing to send Gardaí in balaclavas down to take back the city to kick them out in North Frederick Street. So violence and intimidation is okay, but only if it's for the rich. And the Irish state stands over more than just the violence it employs against activists like those in Take Back the City or against people who are being evicted from their homes. The Irish state stands over economic violence inflicted on poor people. I mean, they reckon about 1,500 old people die every year from fuel poverty. What's that if not violence? But the eviction of the McGann family is a sign of things to come. I mean, all the banks that we bailed out are now selling mortgages off to the vulture funds. Ulster Bank alone sold 5,200 mortgages to the vulture fund Cerberus. Cerberus have already got their hands on loads of normal property through Project Eagle and all the corrupt and dodgy dealings that surrounded that. KBC, the bank at the heart of the Strokestown eviction, recently sold 1.9 billion of loans to Goldman Sachs and their CEO said he had no problem selling off family homes. So here's how Ireland works right now. You're a hard working family, a blue collar, a white collar worker or a small farmer. You take out a loan to try and get yourself a house because this government won't provide anyone with public housing. So you go to a bank, you take out a mortgage, then that bank gets into trouble and gets bailed out by you. The bank bailout cost us 14 grand a head every man, woman and child in this country. And then without your permission, that bank sells off your mortgage to a vulture fund. And then that vulture fund decides they want to get you out of the property because they want to roll it over because it's an asset, not a family home. They don't care about family homes. They only care about money. And then who turns up to evict you? A bunch of loyalist thugs in the employ of a private security firm and backed up by Angarda Shiakana in Strokestown while the private thugs were dragging the family out, beating and punching the family. The Gardaí stood by with their arms folded and says we can't intervene. And when they do intervene, it's to take the side of the thugs and to act like thugs themselves. And sure, isn't that no surprise? I mean, after a series of corrupt Garda commissioners, what did they do to bring about change and transformation in the Gardaí? They appoint Drew Harris, an ex-RUC and PSNI man with connections to MI5. Yeah, he's really going to clean up the cops. Threshold have got over 73,000 calls from people in desperate need of help because they're on the verge of getting kicked out of their house or because they can't pay their rent or they're becoming homeless. So if anything, instead of heading towards a situation where the homeless figures are going to drop, they're just going to keep increasing. The vulture funds don't care how many families have to sit in hotels for the Christmas. And they don't care how many people die on our streets. And the posh boys Leo Verdadkar and Owen Murphy don't give a damn. The National Homelessness and Housing Coalition are calling a march this spring. We have to make sure we get over 30,000 people on that march. Creating a movement that empowers people the way the water movement did. That marries mass protests on the streets to direct action in our communities. And don't let Leo scare you trying to present community resistance to evictions as something that requires small groups of secretive men in balaclavas. If there's an eviction in your community, organise a protest out in the open. Get hundreds of people down there. Stop the private security thugs from taking the family out. Do it out in the open. Do it big. Mass community resistance is effective and it also means that Leo can't arrest the ringleaders or slander it in the media. And we have some allies in the doll. The Solidarity People Before Profit anti-eviction bill would make it illegal to evict people 
But Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil will try and water down the bill when it goes to committee stage. It's only the amount of people on the streets that will make the political establishment do what we want. But ultimately, as long as housing is a commodity, an asset to be rolled over by vulture funds, an investment for wealthy landlords and developers, as long as housing isn't in the hands of the public, isn't something that's built for public need instead of private greed, as long as that's the case, we will always have a housing and homelessness crisis. We need to do what James Connolly wanted to do. We need a socialist society that puts the wealth of society, including the housing stock, in the hands of the working class people.